Hi, this is Steve. Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review. If this is your first time visiting my channel and you don't know what, why you're here or what brought you here, this is a scale modeling channel where I bring you reviews of model kits, resin garage kits, model builds, book reviews, and uh, detail parts and everything else associated with scale modeling. So if you haven't done so already, reach down there below and hit the subscribe button. Well, this is my August 25th, 2022 update. And I have a lot to cover. As you know, we're going to get deep into some of these subjects. But right now, uh, I'm going to break it down to, I'm going to give some shout outs to some channels that are out there. I'm also going to give you uh, an update on my channel itself, an update on uh, D'Agostini builds that I'm doing, and an update on Agora models that I'm uh, doing currently, and lastly, an update on Eagle Moss LTD. So first thing, let's begin with some shout outs on my channel. And the shout outs that I'd like to give, the first one is Jason and Scott over at Model Club TV. If you're a big garage kit collector and builder and you love Wonderfest, which is a big uh, competition show every year in Louisville, Kentucky, uh, you'll love this channel. These guys go back to the Clubhouse website and they go back to the Gremlins website, which is very cool in itself. Um, so head over there to their YouTube channel and subscribe to them. They're trying to break a thousand subscribers and they're not quite there yet. So do me a favor, go over there and subscribe to Model Club TV. I'll put a link in the description below. Remember that uh, their channel is for mature audiences, there may be some languages that your kids probably uh, don't want to hear. But anyway, they do start off in the beginning. They started off about two years ago, and I'm a little bit late at discovering them. But they do start off at uh, WantaFest, and they do a whole series of interviews with producers and artists and sculptors and it's very cool so if you head head to the very beginning of their videos and watch the want fest videos and recently they've been doing a, a series of videos with scott scott is kind of like the resin kit archiver he collects a lot he does he does a lot of resin casting for people he gets contracted out for that but he has a huge collection of resin kits. And what they've been doing is they've been going into his stash. He's been opening up buckets of kits. He has no idea what's in them sometimes and showing us what he has in his collection, which I think is fantastic. So check them out just for that. It's really cool. There's a lot of great interviews and such like just uh, it's a great channel. The next channel I'd like to feature is Chris from Classic Plastics. Now, Chris is an excellent modeler. I've never seen uh, some of the stuff done before, which is what he does. He's actually been using craft paints to paint his kits, and he uses Future to clear them. And that's, for me, that's very difficult to do. But uh, he has a knack and an art to doing this, and he actually explains step by step how to do these things. Um, he he builds all kinds of uh, all genres and all kinds of things so um, he's an awesome builder and if you haven't done so already head over to Chris's classic plastic YouTube channel I put a link in the description below now uh, Chris has been battling cancer and he has been for uh, quite a long time and uh, just head over there and give him your su support subscribe to his channel comment on his videos he would really appreciate that and chris you're the man because uh, i really like what you do and you have some great videos out there next we have uh spruverse my friend phil over at spruverse 
has a fantastic channel there. He doesn't have a whole lot of subscribers. Please subscribe to his channel. Let's give him more subscribers. And I know he would appreciate that immensely. But uh, Phil's been building quite a bit of uh, he's all kinds of genres too. A lot of science fiction he does, a lot of real space, uh, like I said, science fiction stuff. Most recently he does what we call the Spruverse Challenge. And in the challenge, him and uh, Wayne Green from Wayne's World and Lou Dalmaso from um, Aztec Dummy, they all come together and they were building the 1-6 scale Mike's Models time machine from the 1960s. Now this is a huge kit and uh, it's really fantastic. And if you go to their any one of their channels, you'll, you can see the progress of that garage kit is what it is of the time machine from 1960s. So give Fill a shout out and subscribe to his channel. That's Spruverse. I put a link in the description below. And a special shout out to a couple of guys that are act very active in the scale modeling and garage kit community. And that's because they're so involved with uh, cancer awareness. And one of them is Bob Boosking. I'm Bob Boosking. I'll put a link in the description below. But Bob Boosking has his own YouTube channel. And he's very, uh, he puts a lot of his builds out there on Facebook too. So, you know, search for Bob if you, if you would there. But he's putting out the latest uh, cancer awareness for 2022. So, like I said, I'll put a link to his video. And you should uh, try to join if you can. I'm planning on doing that myself. The other thing is uh, Pestilence Labs. Pestilence Labs is a garage kit uh, producer and uh, they're also doing a special cancer awareness tribute to Olivia Newton-John who recently passed away from breast cancer. And um, he has a tribute uh, sculpt for her which represents uh, Sandy from Greece which uh, she uh, acted in and uh, it's a beautiful sculpt sure and as you can see from the photos that I'm including here they're wonderful if you would like to get this sculpture and proceeds also go to breast cancer awareness um, contact Mark Worthling at Pestilence Labs and uh, if he has any left, he'll set you up with the kit. And I have this kit on hand, and I plan to build it here real soon. Now, for my channel update. Um, give you guys a little bit of progress on what's going on in my channel. And I'm trying to give you guys content every day. Obviously, that doesn't happen because they're really what takes up a lot of my time is video editing. So, the big thing that I would like to... Uh, announces the Diagostini builds that I'm doing. I am building the Samba T1 VW bus and I've already built stage one and stage two. I'm waiting for the next stages to arrive and hopefully they'll be arriving here soon and you'll get more on that build. The other thing is I am collecting their American uh, cars collection and uh, this is brand new collection put out by Diagostini USA so stay tuned for that. The other thing on the forefront for Diagostini USA I've noticed is they have published um, the Valentino Rossi Yamaha YZR motorcycle kit and that's going to be fantastic so they have you know been posting that on YouTube that they're coming out with that. The other thing that they're coming out with is the legendary Ford GT. Now that's another thing they're coming out with and I look forward to uh, seeing that in the future. The other things that I've been building and I've been busy with is if you kind of look over my shoulder here to the right you'll see there's a Mustang sitting there and that's for Agora models. I have completed the build for the GT500 Super Snake and that's a 1967 Mustang and you can see just pretty large. It's done. The video is all filmed. I just need to edit it and bring that and put that out for you guys. So I finished up with with uh, Pack 12 and that completed the build. And it was a lot of fun and it's a beautiful car. I mean, wow, it's very impressive. 
on, on what's going on with that. The other thing with them is I am building the Terminator T800 kit and I'm in progress with that and I'll be doing some more uploads with that. I'm not far along with completing that also. And uh, what's on my workbench? What's on my workbench is uh, basically I have one project completed and I took a class with Gilbert Mondragon from the Styrene Syndicate and that was to paint a uh, figure. So I, I'm learning how to paint flesh tones and all that and this is the Medusa figure that was printed up from a good friend of mine as a favor and I'll be coming out with a video on that to highlight this build but I'm very pleased with what I've done on this figure uh, for that and that was the first uh, painting class that I took with Gilbert from the Styrene Syndicate. If you haven't subscribed to Gilbert on Dragon over at the Styrene Syndicate do that today. I put a link in the description below. Head over there and subscribe. He's also going to be doing another class here uh, the second week of September and we're going to be painting up the zombie um, zombie conquistador skeleton and that's going to be pretty cool too. So that's going to be kind of combined with our Halloween build there. So stay tuned for that because that will be live on his channel. Uh, on uh, YouTube. The other thing on my workbench is I am currently building the uh, Wizards Necron 99 and that's a 3D, 3D printed kit and it's fantastic. It's 1 8 scale and I'm in the process of that. I, I haven't showed any uh, video updates on that. My plan is to give you a complete video from start to finish on building that and painting it. So that's in the works right now and I've been, I'm currently working on it. The other build that I'm doing is the Atlantis Moon Eyes Dragster Kit. Now same thing here. I've posted some uh, uh, progress builds on my Facebook and if you haven't gone to my Facebook page just search me out Scale Model Kit Review or Twitter and Instagram same thing I'm on there. And you'll see progress build to that. But I'm not going to give you a video of this until I'm complete with it. And I'm almost done with it. Believe me. It's, it's a lot of fun to build. And just takes me back to the early, early days of model building. The other thing that I was planning on building was the Mike's Models Time Machine. That 1-6 scale time machine. Now um, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold off on that. I'm not going to build it even when it comes in. It actually has not arrived yet. I ordered it on June 7th and it's, you know, we're quite a ways down the road from now and really I've lost my motivation on building it. So I'm waiting for that kit to arrive. Um, he told me it's supposed to ship out next week. So we'll see what happens with that. But uh, that's just going to have to wait on my channel. There's other things I want to build for you. Uh, I have some surprises coming up and so forth. So the other thing too, if you're still listening to my channel, you'll know it. And I'm not going to say anything more about this. So when I hit 20,000 subs, I'm going to have a giveaway. And it's going to be worth uh, subscribing to my channel. So if you're new and you haven't subscribed, when I hit 20,000 subs, I'll make the announcement. And uh, you guys can have a chance to win a free gift on my giveaway. And I'll make that announcement a little bit later. It won't be rinky-dink. It's going to be something very nice that I will give away. Now, I'm going to have to only leave that for uh, U.S. subscribers. Uh, I will ship to Canada if you agree to pay for the shipping. So um, that's how that giveaway will go. And lastly, the Eagle Moss LTD update. This is really tough for me because I have a lot of kits sitting there waiting for parts for. As you know from my first update I gave you last month, they did go into administra administration and that did actually happen. There was a document posted on the internet that shows this and shows some of the outcomes and what's going to happen with Eagle Moss. I'll put a link in the description below for access to that document. And you can see here, I'm giving you a little, little bit of it here. But, uh, you know, if you want to freeze the video, and you can read these for yourself about uh, what the administration is doing and all that. So I've, I 
blanked over some of the names. So there's no reason for them to be in there. But uh, otherwise, the document is there for, your, uh, for you to look at, and I put a link in the description below. The other thing is social media. Social media has been going crazy about Eagle Moss, and there's a lot of rumors and conjectures going on, and I just want to give you guys the facts. That's why I haven't really posted any updates lately about that. But there's a, a gentleman by the name of Ben Robinson who used to work for Eagle Moss, and he's had some Twitter posts out there uh, about Eagle Moss because he's no longer an employee of them. And there was also a uh, video upload on YouTube with an interview f f of him. And it's about an hour long. It's unlisted, but I'll put a link in the description below so you can uh, find that video and watch it for yourself. It is unlisted, so go by my link and you can watch the Ben Robinson interview about Eagle Moss. The other thing that's surprising is Eagle Moss apparently is not going away because their website is up and running and active. However, if you try to click on some of the links, you're not allowed to subscribe to some of the builds. There are some of the builds are missing, like the Enterprise D, the Ecto-1, Eleanor, and such. But as you can see here in my little screen grabs, you can see what's going on with that, and I'll let that play through. And that's all I have for my August update. I appreciate all my subscribers who subscribe to my channel. I think I'm really close to 15,000 subscribers. And like I was saying before, when I make 20,000 subscribers, I will be having some giveaways. Also, I'm pondering the, uh, the uh, Patreon thing because I think I can give you guys some content for Patreon and it would be content only for Patreon, uh, as I have a very large stash. And uh, if you'd want to see my stash, I could do that for Patreon subscribers only. And, uh, you know, that would be pretty cool, I think. But uh, let me know in the comments below if you think it, that's worth it or not. I do have a Patreon, but I'm not advertising that right now. But... Uh, it would definitely would help me out with equipment, i.e. Uh, microphones for better quality sound, cameras, and that such, and lighting. I need some better lighting and all that too. So I've been pondering that. Now that I'm retired, I have no other income coming in. I'm not old enough to get some of my retirement income yet. Um, but I am retired from my job full time, and I have this to do all day, which is work on models and film. So I hope you like so far what's been going on with my channel. I have a low, whole lot more that I want to put out there for you. So just be patient and it will happen. So once again, thank you again for subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to my channel. With that, happy modeling everybody and take care.